Welcome back, everybody. It's Clayton with Piddle Defense. We're going to talk about something today that I think is not talked about enough. That is testing your setups <clears throat> and why I think it's important. So I'm just going to jump right into this. I see so many times people get shotguns, rifles, pistols, belts, plate carriers, all this stuff. And they think it, cool, I'm going to set it up this way with this mag pouch here, this med kit, this holster, this plate carrier with these mag here, you know, mag holsters on the on the front. This all this setup on this rifle, all this setup on the shotgun, all you know, all these things, and they think it's going to work. <clears throat> now, some setups do work, but not all setups work for you know everybody, right? So you have to figure out what setup works for you. Um, so I've got a couple things here that I want to talk about. A couple of different setups. And why I think it's important. And I'm going to give you an example why it's important to test your gear. Once I talk about it. So, let's we'll start here. Prime example. My 11 and a half Midwest Industries pistol. This thing is one of my favorite platforms. Now, I did get these excess sights 45 degree offset. I don't know if I ever said, I just threw, I just threw them on the gun. I literally got home, put them on the gun. That's that. Now, I could be like, all right, yeah, it feels good there. Yep, okay, cool. Everything's working. Feels right. But is it? Do I need to put them further, further ahead, further back, closer together? I don't know, right? I have to go to the range and test this out to make sure that they're set where they need to be set. Okay? Now, this guy... My Beretta A300 Ultima. The reason I'm talking about this is because of this platform. There's something missing on this gun. This gun, I put my optic on it. I put my side saddle on it. Um, I'm missing a light. So I went to the range. Threw this, uh, threw this, all my stuff on here. Got it set the way I wanted to. And put the light on. Felt good. Felt like it was in a good spot. I could activate the light with my thumb. No problem. And um, just wanted to go test it out. Make sure it was good to go. Fired around. I looked down on the ground and saw the light land on the ground. I'm like, okay. Did have it tight enough? Um, no, no big deal. Tighten it back down. Get it set where I want. And then I'm going to lock tight it. Upon further review of what happened, the mount for the light actually broke. It snapped in half. I'll put up a close-up of what it looks like now or what happened somewhere on here. But <clears throat> why is that important? I had a light on this gun. And it broke the mount. It fell off on the ground. What would have happened if that would have happened in the middle of the night? I fire a round off in the middle of the night to defend my family. That light falls off the gun. Now I'm, I'm fighting in the dark. We can't, we can't be doing things like that. It's not going to help. It's not going to be a benefit to you. That is the time not to figure things out, not to figure how the setup works. So I got another mount. I'm going to put it on this gun, get it back up to running where I need it to. I'm going to go test it again, make sure everything's right. And then I'm going to lock tight everything. Why Loctite? Because you don't need these screws backing out. Part of this it actually is Loctited, and the screws never backed out. I'll put a picture up of that close up too. It's still on the gun. Everything. Optic mounts, backup sight mounts, light mounts, pressure pad screws, lights, or pressure, pressure pad, excuse me, pressure pads, screws, Loctite, all that stuff. Um, you need to test your gear. You can test your gear. It's that simple. Um, you know, handguns. You put a, put a red dot on there. Lock tight them on there. I have seen red dots come off the gun and literally fall on the ground. Uh, you need to test your gear. Make sure things are tight. And I'm not even talking just the platforms here. I'm not talking just rifles and shotguns. What about these battle belts? This is my core essentials belt. Right? I got a couple mag pouches on here. You know, 
Got my holster, got my med kit, which, well, I need to put back in there because I used it after I slit my finger open at the range. My plate carrier. This one I'm running, I don't know, running slick. There's nothing on here. Yeah, I got a med kit on the back, but what if I have all these things on here and it's interfering with trans, you know, transition to right to left shoulder? You don't know. Is my holster in a good spot on my belt? Is my plate carrier interfering with my draw? In the middle of the shits is not the time to make sure your gear works. Please get into a class, get some training. That's where you can test your gear. That's where you make sure the stuff works. If it falls off, breaks in a class, cool. Go back to the drawing board, get it fixed, get the mounts, get the whatever you need to do to fix it. This is why we stress training so much because you need to understand yet again in the middle of a gunfight or for your life or your family's life is not the time to see and make sure your setups work. It's not. I'm sorry if that's harsh, but it's the truth. You need to get into a class and test your gear. I hear it all the time from everybody. Oh, I got this new gun. I'm going to set it up. Cool. What do you have on there? I got this, 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 and this. Okay. Well, why? First of all, you may have too much stuff on your gun. You may have stuff on the gun you may not need. Philosophy of use. I coined that from uh, my good friend Kevin Dixie. And if you want to know what he's talking about with that, please jump in one of his classes. He'll tell you. But you need to test your setups. Please do yourself a favor. Do your family a favor. Test your gear. Like I said before in the beginning, if this shotgun I have had to use and that light came off, this, this gun's in the dark. Yeah, I could turn the lights on in my house, but in the dark, I would, this gun's useless to me now. I got nothing. Not unless I had a handheld light in my pocket, but, you know, test your setups. Make sure things are loctited. Make sure they're set up for you and how they want to run. It is absolutely important that we do this. I can't stress it enough, people. I mean, it's, 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 you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your family, you owe it to your community to make sure your self-defense tools are working properly and are running properly. It's no different than any other thing. If you're a machinist, you have to make sure those tools for machining are running properly. Guess what? These are the same thing. You got to make sure they're running properly. Everything from the light to the optics batteries to whatever the case it may be, you got to make sure they're up to running. <clears throat> because like I said in the beginning, in the middle of the shits is not the time to figure this out. So with that being said, I um, appreciate you guys coming on. If you got other questions, leave me in the comments. Uh, if you want to test your gear, Register for a class. Reach out to us. We'd love to get you on the range, test your product, test your gear out, make sure it's good for you, help you walk through that process, help you understand setups. Because like I said, a lot of people don't even <clears throat> the little things. To where this holster is, I'm wearing this whole setup, my draw stroke changes and it might even interfere with something on my plate carrier. I've seen people have things on their right side or left side, wherever they draw, and I've seen their plate carriers interfere with their draw stroke. Can't have that. So, jump into class, get some training, test your gear, test your setups, and uh, there'll be more coming from uh, definitely this guy. We'll definitely have some videos coming out with this guy. Um, I'm really excited about this, but I'm gonna get my light back on there. I want to get this video out there because, like I said, this 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 incident sparked this whole conversation. So, that being said, catch you guys on the next video. Remember, you are your own first responder. Nobody's coming to save you.